Mm -hmm. I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today, I have Olympic gold medalist, Nathan Chen. Nathan, it's so wonderful to see you. Thanks for joining me on NYSE Floor Talk today. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on your gold medal. Now tell me, what did it take for you to get to this point? It took certainly a lot. It took a lot of teamwork. It took a lot of support. It took a lot of um, just, you know, sacrifice from everyone in my team and um, just yeah, many hours at the rink, um, but also a lot of fun, uh, a lot of crazy experiences um, and just, you know, a lot of joy overall. OK, yeah. And I'm sure a lot to Mama there as well, who uh, <laughs> was taking you off to the rink many, many years as you were growing up. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so Nathan, you made history as the first Asian American man to win gold in men's figure skating singles. What does that mean to you? It means a lot to me, um, and I'm really proud of the team that I represented. Um, we had a lot of other Asian Americans that were doing amazing in their fields, like Chloe Kim, you know, and it's, it's just really cool to be able to see um, such great representation at, the, at this Olympics. Now, also this, you know, this year's Olympics, I mean, they were very different than, you know, previous Olympics. Um, you weren't able to have your family there, you know, your fans in person. How did that impact you? It is different to not have fans in the arena. It certainly doesn't mean that you can't have a great skate, you know, and you can't have a great time and a great experience. Um, we've had a couple competitions over the past few uh, past few seasons um, that were in front of completely empty arenas. And here at the Olympics, uh, we were obviously were not at capacity, but there were still quite a lot of people watching. Um, so it was really nice to at least have some audience. Um, and of course, not having family and friends there is a little bit different, but my closest friends in the skating world and even outside of the, outside of the skating world were there competing alongside me and rooming with me at the at the Olympics. So um, I certainly was not um, alone. I certainly had, you know, people that I loved and um, loved spending time with there with me. Um, and as for family, you know, over the past few years, we've gotten really good at um, communicating online, so, you know, virtually. Mm -hmm. So that was certainly uh, no different. All right. So now, Nathan, finally, um, what's next? I know you are a student at Yale. Um, are you going back to school? Maybe an Elton John concert? Yeah, I will be going back to school in the in in for the fall fall semester, and then for the next few months, we'll be doing a U.S. The U.S. Olympic team does a tour called Stars and Ice, so we'll be all, all around the country um, performing, and you know, it's it's just a lot of fun for the for for the athletes. Um, since we, you know we all enjoy spending time together, and it's really cool to be able to sort of spread skating across the nation. Um, and then, yeah, after that, go, go to school and then see what the future has for me after that. All right. Well, congratulations again on winning gold. Good luck at school. We're looking forward to seeing you back on the ice. And I think you should definitely go to an Elton John concert as well. <laughs> I would, I would, <laughs> that would be a dream come true. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, Nathan. Of course. Thank you.